sometimes things aren't quite what they seem. This car body looks like it's made from metal, but it's not. Actually, it's a composite material which is stronger than metal. Damien McTaggart designs sports cars, not with a computer, but with a saw, a rasp, and a lot of polystyrene foam. He cuts and shapes the foam into a full-scale model of a new car to be launched at this autumn's motor show. It's so secret, he won't show us the whole thing. He's limited only by his imagination and the demands of his managing director. The advantage of not using computer-aided design is that he can see the results of his work full-scale in three dimensions. The disadvantage is that every change has to be done physically and is hard to undo. This is the raw material which will make up the body of the car, sheets of glass fibre. At this stage, it's soft and pliable and can be cut into shapes using a template. The transformation from soft sheet to hard car body starts here. The workers lay the sheets into moulds and apply liquid resin which combines with the glass fibre so that it can be pressed into the mould with a roller. It will begin to set hard in just 20 minutes, so they have to move fast. They build up the material in layers, glass fibre sheets and liquid resin. The moulds were made directly from the foam model originally designed by Damien. Making cars out of glass reinforced resin reduces tooling costs in the factory. When they've laid up the glass fibre and resin, the workers bolt together the individual segments of the mould and the car body begins to take shape. They will leave the moulds overnight to set. If you look closely at sheets of glass fibre, you can see the fibres entangled in a random fashion. This gives the material its high tensile strength. When the resin is added, it bonds the fibres, resulting in a strong composite material, combining the properties of the two components. When the workers remove the mould, the glass fibre body is revealed beneath, but it's far from finished. The body goes through to a finishing shop to be prepared for painting. Here they remove mould seams and other imperfections. Glass fibre is dangerous to work with, so the finishers wear masks to protect their lungs from the dust, and extractors remove the dust from the air. TVR make just 22 cars a week. They're all handmade with great attention to detail, so they don't come cheap. The prepared bodies are taken into sealed chambers for priming and painting. They get at least nine coats. Special clothing and masks protect the workers from the poisonous fumes and particles. The body's important, but so's the rest. After all, what's a sports car without an engine? The finished car. It's strong, it's light, and it's fast. 